Marion Davies, a shining star of the silver screen, made a lasting impression in the world of cinema. Her journey from a chorus girl to a leading lady in Hollywood is a tale of talent meeting opportunity. Known for her comedic and dramatic roles, she became one of the most popular actresses of her time. Her work in films like Show People and The Patsy showcased her acting skills and won her fans across the globe. Beyond her on-screen presence, she was also a generous philanthropist, supporting many causes and individuals in need. Marion Davies remains a celebrated figure in film history, remembered for her contributions to the arts and her spirit of generosity. Marion Davies was a talented actress known for her work in the early days of Hollywood. She starred in many films, showing a range of acting skills from comedy to drama. Now, think back to the first time you saw Marion Davies on screen. What movie was it? How did her performance make you feel? We're also curious about your most memorable moment related to Marion Davies. Maybe it's a scene that made you laugh or a line that stayed with you. Share your stories and memories in the comments. We'd love to hear them. And stay tuned, because we have many interesting facts about Marion Davies coming up, including some that are funny, some that are surprising, and some that are a bit sad. Keep watching to learn more about this remarkable star of the silver screen. Marion Davies was born into a theatrical family in Brooklyn, New York, which sparked her interest in acting. Her father performed in plays, and her mother played the piano, exposing Marion to the performing arts early on. She attended a convent school where she participated in plays, honing her acting skills from a young age. The actress's beauty and talent caught the eye of newspaper tycoon William Randolph Hearst, who became her partner and mentor. Hearst promoted her career in Hollywood, where she starred in several successful silent films and talkies. Despite Hearst's influence, Davies was known for her comedic talent and timing, which were all her own. Her early family life, education in performing arts, and Hearst's support were significant in shaping her path as an actress. Marion Davies was a significant figure in Hollywood during the early 20th century. She started as a chorus girl and became a well-known actress, starring in over 40 films. Her work helped shape the film industry's transition from silent films to talkies. Davies was known for her comedic and dramatic roles, and she produced several films, which was rare for women at the time. Her success and influence opened doors for future generations of actresses in Hollywood. Despite challenges, her talent and determination left a lasting mark on the film industry. Marion Davies discovered her passion for acting early in life. As a young girl, she loved to perform in school plays and quickly realized that acting was her calling. Her big break came when she was cast in a Broadway chorus, which led to more significant roles. Her talent shone through, and she was soon noticed by newspaper tycoon William Randolph Hearst, who became her patron and lover. Hearst financed many of her films, allowing her to showcase her comedic and dramatic abilities. Despite the challenges she faced, including the public's focus on her relationship with Hearst rather than her talent, Davies remained dedicated to her craft. Her determination and love for acting kept her going, making her one of the silent film era's most beloved actresses. Marion Davies made a memorable appearance in the movie Blondie of the Follies, playing the character Blondie McClune. An hour into the film, she calls Billy Dove's character Lurling Calabash, a name that would later become a signature sign-off for entertainer Jimmy Durante. Before her acting career took off, Davies was a chorus girl in the musical Chin Chin at the Forest Theater in Philadelphia. Her career in social circles placed her among notable figures, including Joseph P. Kennedy. This connection led to her attending the presidential inauguration of John F. Kennedy, where she was photographed near the president during his inaugural address. Unfortunately, this event marked her final public appearance. She died eight months later. Marion Davies faced many challenges in her early career. She started with little money and had to work hard for every role. People in the movie business did not believe she could be a successful actress. Despite this, she kept trying and found smart ways to show her talent. She used her humor and acting skills to win over critics and audiences. Her hard work paid off and she became a well-known actress in silent films and later in talking movies. Marion Davies showed that with determination and creativity, 
one can overcome tough times and succeed. Marion Davies showed her range as an actress in Beverly of Graustark, where she played Beverly Calhoun, a character who spends much of the film disguised as a man. This was not her first time taking on such a role. She had previously portrayed a male character in Little Old New York. Despite her talent, Davies faced restrictions in her career due to the influence of William Randolph Hearst. For instance, she was considered for a role in the film Claudia, but Hearst did not want her to play a supporting character or one that died, so she did not take the part. Davies' work has been recognized over time, with show people being the first of her films to enter the National Film Registry in 23. The restoration of When Knighthood Was in Flower has made it a likely candidate for future inclusion. Other films of hers like The Patsy, Little Old New York, Enchantment, and The Bride's Play are also seen as deserving of this honor. Marion Davies was a talented actress whose career had several significant moments. One key turning point was her lead role in the 1922 film When Knighthood Was in Flower, which was one of the highest grossing films of the silent era. Her performance received praise and showed her ability to carry a film. Another major moment was her role in Show People in 1928, a comedy that showcased her talent for humor and was a hit with audiences. Her peers and critics noted her skill in both dramatic and comedic roles, and she became known for her versatility on screen. Despite challenges, her work in films like The Patsy and Going Hollywood solidified her status as a respected actress in the film industry. Marion Davies showed her talent for comedy as Peggy Pepper in Show People, and her off-screen life was just as lively, especially with her friend William Haynes. They spent many days together at the Grand Estate of San Simon, owned by William Randolph Hearst. Her political views were clear. She supported the Democratic Party throughout her life. In another memorable role, Marion played Blondie McClune in Blondie of the Follies. She shared a special connection with fellow actress Zazu Pitts, as they both celebrated their birthdays on January 3rd, though Marion was born three years later. Marion Davies was known for her comedic and dramatic roles in the film industry during the early 20th century. Her approach to acting was deeply personal, often drawing from her own life to bring authenticity to her performances. She had a natural charm and a talent for understanding the characters she portrayed which made her style relatable and genuine. Davies was also skilled at improvisation, adding her own touch to the roles, making them stand out. Her work reflects her belief in the power of storytelling and her desire to connect with the audience on an emotional level. Despite facing challenges in her career, her dedication to her craft and her ability to adapt to various roles showcased her commitment to the art of acting. Davies' work continues to be appreciated for its honesty and the joy it brought to viewers. Her personal experiences, especially her relationships and the social norms of her time, influenced the roles she chose and how she played them. This connection between her life and her art made her performances memorable and left a lasting impression on the film industry. Marion Davies showed her range as an actress in the film show People, playing Peggy Pepper. Despite opposition from William Randolph Hearst who feared slapstick comedy would tarnish her image, he was so against it that he almost stopped the film just before production started. In Blondie of the Follies, she portrayed Blondie McClune and was notably older than her co-star Robert Montgomery by seven years. Her talents extended behind the camera as well. She took charge of the dance sequences in Buried Treasure, a film from 1921 that is no longer available for viewing. Her involvement in these films highlights her dedication and skill in the performing arts. Marion Davies was a talented actress in the early days of Hollywood. She starred in many films and showed a natural skill for comedy. Her work helped show that women could be funny and lead in movies. She worked with famous directors and actors and her style of acting was fresh and new. People in the industry saw her as a good example of how to act on screen. She also helped other actors and artists in their careers. Many people in Hollywood say she had a big heart and was very generous. Her movies are still watched today and her way of acting has influenced many actors after her. Davies showed that you can be good at your job and still help others along the way. In the film Show People, Marion Davies played the role of Peggy Pepper and just like her character, 
She was accompanied by musicians who provided live mood music during her performances. Moving on to Blondie of the Follies, Marion Davies took on the character of Blondie McClune. In a twist of reality mirroring the screen, Zazu Pitts played the part of her older sister Gertie and was in fact three years her senior. The actors playing their parents were not much older than their on-screen children, with Sarah Podden, who played their mother, being only 13 years older than Pitts, and James Gleason, who played their father, being 12 years older. An interesting fact about Marion Davies' films is that her supporter, William Randolph Hearst, insisted that she dress as a man at least once in every movie. For Blondie of the Follies, the Rocky Twins, known for their cross-dressing performances, were initially brought in to act alongside Davies. However, due to concerns from censors, the film was altered. Instead, a scene was created where Billy Dove's character causes Davies to fall overboard during a yacht scene, leading to Davies changing into a captain's uniform after her dress gets wet. Marion Davies was known for her generosity and kind spirit. She supported many causes and used her success to help others. She was deeply involved in charity often visiting hospitals and orphanages, giving generously to those in need. Her work in the entertainment industry was influenced by her desire to bring joy and laughter to people's lives. She believed in using her influence for good, supporting the arts and encouraging young talent. Her passion for helping children led her to establish children's clinics, and she was also a benefactor of educational programs. Marion's personal life was filled with acts of kindness that reflected her belief in giving back to the community and making a positive difference in the world. Marion Davies received recognition for her work in film with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Her life and career continued to inspire long after her passing, with actresses like Virginia Madsen and Gretchen Mull portraying her on screen. They studied her deeply to bring authenticity to their performances. Tragedy touched her early life when she lost her brother Charles, leading to a lifelong fear of death that affected how she dealt with loss. Her story reflects both the glamour of Hollywood and the personal challenges she faced. Marion Davies was known for her talent in acting and her generous spirit. She showed that with hard work and kindness, you can earn respect in the film industry. For those starting out, her life teaches us to stay true to ourselves, work hard, and support others. Her advice would likely be to focus on your craft, be patient, and build genuine relationships. As for her future, she might have continued to support new talent and create opportunities for others, always aiming to leave a positive mark on the world of film. Her story encourages us to keep learning and growing, no matter where we are in our careers. Marion Davies was known for her sense of humor. She once tricked President Calvin Coolidge into drinking wine by telling him it was fruit juice. Her fear of horses stemmed from a childhood accident. At 12 years old, she fell from a horse, landed on logs, and broke her tailbone. Despite this fear, she became a celebrated actress. In 1927, she welcomed the famous aviator Charles Lindbergh to Hollywood, hosting a special event in his honor. She stood alongside Mary Pickford, another major film star, at the official MGM reception for Lindbergh, showing her status in the film community. Marion Davies was a shining star in the early days of Hollywood. Her journey in film began in the silent era, where her comedic talent and lively spirit captured the hearts of many. She showed a natural skill for acting and a dedication to her craft that saw her transition successfully into talking pictures. Her work helped shape the film industry and her performances brought joy and laughter to audiences during a time when it was much needed. Her story is a testament to the power of creativity and the importance of never giving up on one's dreams. It reminds us that with hard work and determination, we can overcome challenges and make a lasting impression on the world. Marion Davies was known for her generosity and love for entertaining. In a notable act of hospitality, she lent her home to Joseph P. Kennedy during the 1960 Democratic Convention in Los Angeles. Her passion for film was evident in her personal favorite, The Big Parade, directed by King Vitter. The visual style of many of her silent films was crafted by Joseph Urban, a designer with a broad range from Art Deco to Gothic. His designs brought life to the settings of The Restless Sex, Enchantment, The Bride's Play, Beauty's Worth, 
when knighthood was in flower, little old New York, Yolanda, Janice Meredith, and Xander the Great. Urban's experience with the Metropolitan Opera in New York equipped him to create the stunning backdrops that helped make these films memorable. Marion Davies was connected to the entertainment world, not just through her own acting career, but also through family. She was the aunt-in-law of Arthur Lake, known for his role as Dagwood Bumstead in the Blondie film series. In a lasting tribute to her success, Marion left her hand and footprints at Grauman's Chinese Theater, joining an exclusive group of stars honored in this way. Her personal note reflects her friendship with Sid Grauman, a significant figure in the theater industry. Marion's talent shone brightly in the film Show People, where she played Peggy Pepper alongside William Haynes. Their on-screen partnership marked the beginning of a lifelong friendship that lasted until her passing. Marion Davies found herself in a unique position in the film industry, thanks to William Randolph Hearst. He made sure that her co-stars in silent films were either not interested in women or were much older. This was likely to avoid any off-screen romance. Hearst's influence didn't stop there. He placed her in a key role at Cosmopolitan Pictures, not just as an actress, but also as a production manager. This job kept her within his circle, overseeing movie production. Among her films, Beverly of Graustark stands out. Playing Beverly Calhoun, she won over audiences, and it became one of her most successful silent movies at MGM. Marion Davies was a star who caught the eye of many, including famed aviator Charles Lindbergh. During his visit to Hollywood in 1927, he made it a point to meet her on the set of her film, The Fair Coed. Her popularity was not just a fleeting moment. In 1923, she and Rudolph Valentino were celebrated as the top movie stars, earning the titles of Queen and King of the Screen at a grand event in New York City. However, life took a challenging turn for Davies in 1960 when a simple tooth extraction led to a severe infection and, eventually, jaw cancer. Despite these hardships, her legacy in the film industry remains noteworthy. Marion Davies showed her skill for mimicry in Blondie of the Follies, playing Blondie McClune and imitating Greta Garbo. This performance was alongside Jimmy Durante, who played a version of John Barrymore. Both actors were in a film directed by Edmund Gooding, who also directed Grand Hotel in the same year. In Show People, Davies took on the role of Peggy Pepper, a character that reflected the life of Gloria Swanson, but was more an imitation of Mee Murray's Patricia Pepper. The film could have featured Constance Talmadge, one of Davies' good friends, but she was away filming in France. These roles are examples of how Davies was able to capture the essence of other famous actresses of her time. Marion Davies earned the title queen of the screen with her roles in nearly 50 films. Her career spanned from silent movies to talkies, showcasing her talent in both. In Show People, she played Peggy Pepper, and the film featured Polly Morin as the maid, a well-known actress from MGM. They worked together in three movies. Another notable role was Blondie McClune in Blondie of the Follies, where she starred alongside Billy Dove, another actress who started as a Ziegfeld girl like Davies. Her performances left a lasting mark on the film industry. Marion Davies was celebrated in the film world, which is clear from the Marion Davies March composed by Victor Herbert for her film When Knighthood Was in Flower. This film was a major success in 1922. In Show People, Marion played Peggy Pepper, and the film featured a banquet scene with well-known stars like Dorothy Sebastian and Douglas Fairbanks. The movie also had a funny moment where instead of getting hit by a pie, Marion's character was sprayed with seltzer water. This change was made because William Randolph Hearst, who was involved in her career, didn't want her to be hit with a pie. Marion Davies joined the Motion Picture Academy's Actors Branch in 1933 and was a member for life. Her first major talking film was Marion in 1929, which followed two unsuccessful projects. Despite these setbacks, Marion was also made as a silent movie with different actors. For over three decades, columnist Loella Parsons often wrote that Marion never looked lovelier, a phrase that became known more for its flattery than its truth. Marion Davies, a talented actress of the early 20th century, has been depicted on screen by various actresses over the years. Virginia Madsen played her in The Hearst and Davies' Affair, 
Heather McNair in Chaplin, Melanie Griffith in RKO 281, Kirsten Dunst in The Cat's Meow, and Amanda Seyfried in Mank. During her successful career, she earned a significant salary of $10,000 per week at MGM and Warner Brothers, and the same amount as president of Cosmopolitan Productions. Adjusted for inflation, her earnings would be equivalent to over $300,000 per week today. Her popularity was evident as she was ranked among the top 10 money making stars multiple times, reflecting her appeal and success in the film industry. Amanda Seyfried brought Marion Davies back to the spotlight with her portrayal in the film Mank. Her performance earned her a nomination for an Academy Award. Marion Davies was known for her role as Beverly Calhoun in Beverly of Graustark, which was a new version of an older movie. Her look in the film, especially her short bob haircut, started a trend among women in 1926. This style became as popular as Louise Brooks' famous haircut. Marion Davies' influence on fashion and film continues to be recognized and celebrated through such portrayals. Marion Davies was known for her role as Blondie McLoon in the movie Blondie of the Follies. This film was also the last for actress Billy Dove, who decided to leave acting to focus on her family and due to issues with the film's producer, William Randolph Hearst, who was also Marion Davies' partner. Billy Doe briefly returned to acting 30 years later for a small role in Diamond Head, but her part was not included in the final release. Marion Davies faced health challenges later in life. She had a stroke in 1956, and doctors found she had cancer in her jaw. She underwent successful surgery for it. In 1961, she had another surgery for a bone infection in her jaw. Unfortunately, she had an accident where she broke her leg, and her health declined after that. She passed away on September 22, 1961. Throughout her acting career from 1917 to 1937, Marion Davies always played significant roles. She was never just an extra or a minor character in any film. Her presence was always notable, and she had a strong career in the film industry during those years. Marion Davies left a lasting mark on the film industry, not just for her roles on screen, but for her vibrant life off it. After she passed away, she was laid to rest at Hollywood Forever Cemetery in Los Angeles. Despite common beliefs, the character Susan Alexander Kane in the film Citizen Kane was not based on her life. Orson Welles himself clarified that the character was inspired by another individual's promotion of his wife's opera career. Marion Davies was known for her talent and unique personality, which were nothing like the character in the movie. She showcased her comedic skills in show people, playing Peggy Pepper alongside famous faces like Charles Chaplin in cameo roles. Her own cameo in the film is remembered for its humor and charm. Marion Davies showed her talent for comedy as Blondie McLoon in the film Blondie of the Follies. In a memorable moment, she and Jimmy Durante recreated a scene from the movie Grand Hotel, adding their own humorous twist. Interestingly, Sarah Padden, who played Mama Clune, also had a role in Grand Hotel, though she wasn't credited. Off screen, Marion had simple tastes. She enjoyed tapioca pudding, but had to stay away from shellfish due to a mild allergy. Decades later, her legacy continued to inspire, as seen when Chloe Feynman portrayed her in the 2022 film Babylon. Marion Davies was a celebrated actress in the silent film era, known for her charm and acting skills. In May 1924, she was honored as the Queen of the Screen alongside Rudolph Valentino, who was named the King of the Screen, showing their popularity and success in films. Before her rise in movies, Davies had a significant presence on stage. Her last live performance was in April 1920, where she appeared in Carnival, a show by Ed Wynn, for a total of 64 performances. Over her two decades in the film industry, she starred in 48 films, leaving a lasting mark with her performances and becoming a beloved figure in the world of early cinema. Marion Davies lit up the stage and screen with her talent. From 1914 to 1920, she graced Broadway in 10 shows, shining in the Ziegfeld Follies of 1916. Her film career was just as impressive, with nearly 50 movies to her name from 1917 to 1937. She shared the screen with legends like Clark Gable and Gary Cooper. Despite common belief, Davies was not just another face in the crowd of Ziegfeld girls. 
She was a standout in the 1916 Follies, performing alongside stars like Fanny Bryce and W.C. Fields. Her work left a lasting impression on the entertainment world. Marion Davies showed her talent for comedy as Peggy Pepper in Show People, a film recognized for its significance by the National Film Registry. Her career faced a challenge when she had a stroke in 1956, but she had made lasting connections, including with George Bernard Shaw. He saw her potential for the stage, suggesting she play Eliza in Pygmalion, which would have brought her back with Leslie Howard from their earlier work in 5 and 10. Marion Davies showed great dedication to her craft. For her role in When Knighthood Was in Flower, she trained for months to master fencing, ensuring the scene was as authentic as possible. Her commitment to her roles was evident in her performances. Off screen, she was just as generous. When Clark Alvord, a shopkeeper and admirer of Davies, passed away, he left her 10,000. She honored his memory by donating this sum to a hospital in Las Vegas, helping those in need and naming a bed in his honor. Later in life, she began working on an autobiography, recording her memories and experiences. Although she passed away before finishing it, her recorded notes were shared with the world in 1975 as the times we had, offering a glimpse into her life and the era she lived in. Marion Davies showed her talent in the silent film era, notably in Show People, where she played Peggy Pepper. It was unique because she and William Haynes were the main stars, a rare honor for her at the time. Away from the screen, she had a skill for quilting, winning a prize at the Los Angeles County Fair in 1941. Her presence in Ben Hur A Tale of the Christ was part of a massive cast of extras, which included many famous faces and future stars of Hollywood. They all gathered to be part of the epic chariot race scene, making it a memorable moment in film history. Marion Davies made her mark in the entertainment world, not just on screen, but also through the airwaves. In the 1930s, she took to radio, a popular medium of the time, and starred in broadcasts like The Brat and Peg Oh My Heart. Her family was no stranger to the spotlight either. Her father officiated the wedding of Gloria Good Bishop, a known socialite. Marion was the youngest, with three sisters and a brother who sadly passed away. Her nephew, Charles Lederer, became a successful screenwriter and held a special place in her heart. For a decade, Marion shone as one of MGM's leading stars, captivating audiences with her performances from 1924 to 1934. Marion Davies showed her acting skills in the film show people, playing the character Peggy Pepper. James Murray was first chosen to be her co-star, but due to his personal struggles, William Haynes took over the role. Marion had family ties in the film industry through her sister-in-law relationships with George Regas, George W. Letterer, and Louis Adlon. She also shared a personal challenge with her brother Charles, as both had a stutter. Marion Davies was more than just an actress. She was family to Natalie Draper, Charles Letterer, and Pepe Letterer. Her career saw her transform into Beverly Calhoun for the film Beverly of Grostark. However, production stopped for 10 days due to her falling sick with the flu. Years later, in 2001, her life and the surrounding mysteries caught the eye of director Peter Bogdanovich. He made the cat's meow, casting Kirsten Dunst as a young Davies. The movie explored the Thomas N.C. scandal, though it was not based on proven facts. In the same year, the documentary captured on film the true story of Marion Davies was released, offering a closer look at her life and career Marion Davies grew up in Brooklyn, New York, moving from 89th Street to 47th Street during her childhood. She became known for her relationship with William Randolph Hearst, a powerful newspaper owner. Their complex relationship was hinted at in several films, including the classic Citizen Kane, and more directly in the Cat's Meow Davies film career included a notable performance as Peggy Pepper in Show People. Interestingly, the last scene of this movie was filmed on the set of Marion, marking her transition from silent films to talkies. Her life and career were intertwined with the film industry's evolution and Hearst Media Empire. Marion Davies once lived in a large house at 1007 North Beverly Drive in Los Angeles, which had 22 rooms. Her neighbor was the film producer Samuel Goldwyn. This house later became famous as it appeared in movies like The Godfather and The Bodyguard. 
While in England, Marion Davies showed her kind heart when she found out Florence Turner, a former silent film star, had no money. She paid for Turner and her mother to come back to the United States, gave them a place to stay, and offered Turner a job. Marion Davies also had strong connections in politics. She was invited to John F. Kennedy's presidential inauguration because she was good friends with his father, Joseph P. Kennedy, and supported the Kennedy family for a long time. Marion Davies, known for her acting career, was the younger sister of Rianne Davies and Rosemary Davies, both of whom were also actresses. In 1928, she was set to make her first appearance in a talking movie with The Five O'Clock Girl. Unfortunately, the project was canceled after a few weeks due to issues with the early sound recording equipment. While there are photographs from the production, the actual film did not survive. Marion completed her education at Public School 93 in Brooklyn, New York before pursuing her acting career. Marion Davies was known for her talent in mimicking other celebrities, which she showcased at parties. Her skill led to three of her impersonations being featured in the film, The Patsy in 1928. She also had a generous side, demonstrated by her funding of a children's clinic at the University of California, Los Angeles in November 1959, now named the Marion Davies Children's Clinic. Davies had a deep appreciation for the film The Big Parade from 1925 and formed a close bond with its star, Renee DeRay. She later covered the costs for DeRay's funeral in 1933. Her admiration for the movie extended to its director, King Vidor, whom she insisted director and show people, a film from 1928 that many consider her finest work. Marion Davies was portrayed by Melanie Griffith in the HBO movie RKO 281, which highlighted the challenges faced during the production of Citizen Kane. The film showed Davies becoming unhappy with the lifestyle and political choices of William Randolph Hearst. In the world of cinema, Cecil Beaton recognized her beauty by including her in his list of the six most beautiful women in movies, alongside names like Greta Garbo and Lillian Gish. Beyond her on-screen presence, Davies was known for her generosity often helping out members of her film crews with their medical expenses without seeking any recognition for her kindness. Marion Davies stepped onto the stage at 16, beginning her journey in entertainment. She was the youngest of five siblings, with her sister Irene born in 1885, followed by Ethel in 1887, Charles in 1888, and Rose in 1895. In 2017, Edward LaRusso published a book titled The Silent Films of Marion Davies, shedding light on her early career in silent cinema. Marion Davies was recognized for her work in film by Turner Classic Movies in January 2022, celebrating her as their Star of the Month. She once lived at a place that is now known as the New York Buddhist Church, located at 331 Riverside Drive. Although William Randolph Hearst strongly supported her with an Oscar campaign for her role in Peg Oh My Heart in 1933, she did not receive a nomination for Best Actress. Marion Davies was a talented actress whose career was closely tied to the influence of William Randolph Hearst. Hearst, a powerful media tycoon, tried to use his influence to secure starring roles for Davies in major films. He pushed for her to play the lead in Marie Antoinette, and the Barretts of Wimpole Street, but both times, the roles went to Norma Shearer. Years later, a personal revelation surfaced when Patricia Lake, married to actor Arthur Lake, passed away. It was disclosed that she was the daughter of Davies and Hearst, having been raised by Davies' sister as her own. The relationship between Hearst and Davies also inspired a musical, W.R. and Daisy, which highlighted their story and was performed at venues significant to their history including the Annenberg Community Beach House, a place Hearst had built for Davies. Their legacy in entertainment and their personal lives continue to be subjects of interest and artistic inspiration. Marion Davies received recognition at the Silent Film Festival in Pordenone, Italy, where her 1926 film was shown. Her resting place is in Hollywood Forever Cemetery, designed like a Greek temple, near Tyrone Power's grave, marked with her family's name. Marion Davies, known for her acting and comedy, faced a tragic event in her personal life. Despite her success on screen, she struggled with alcoholism, which affected her career and personal relationships. Her long-term partner, William Randolph Hearst, used his influence to promote her career, 
but this also led to negative publicity and stress. Marion's battle with alcohol became more challenging over the years, and it was a sad aspect of her life that contrasted with the bright image she portrayed in films. Marion Davies was a talented actress known for her roles in silent films and early talkies. Her performances brought joy to many, and she left a strong impression on the film industry. We invite you to share your favorite memories of Marion Davies and her movies in the comments. Your thoughts help keep her memory alive. If you enjoy content that celebrates the artists who have shaped our entertainment, please like, share, and subscribe for more. Your support helps us create more videos that spotlight the creative talents of the past.